Yesterday, I took some telescopic photographs of the sun using a few different filters. My main goal was just to photograph the sun. I don't even think you own a telescope. And if those were taken through filters, those are some of the junkiest filters I've ever seen. To me, it looks like you just added some color in Photoshop afterwards. And no way was your main goal just to photograph the sun. Your main objective was to go out and see what kind of garbage you could collect to pass off as something out of the ordinary to your followers. And I say this why? Because this is what the sun looks like using only a camera and a proper objective solar filter. If anything, what you have done is bought a little telescopic lens thing from the dollar store that goes over your cell phone camera. There's no way in the world you're using an actual telescope with actual filters. As I was looking through the eyepiece, I actually blinded myself temporarily in my right eye because I didn't realize that I actually had the sun focused perfectly. This is the sun focused perfectly. What you have there is crap. And I highly doubt that you even blinded yourself because there's almost always an ulterior motive behind everything you say, and here you just want people to feel sorry for you. After I took a series of photographs, later on when I looked at them, I noticed that we had several objects, something near the sun, and something to the lower left-hand side of the sun. Your filters are obviously not doing their job, because if they were, you would have a crystal clear, perfectly round orb. What it looks like to me is that there's some kind of smudge or speck of dirt or something either on your quote-unquote filter or on your lens. It's also pretty clear looking at my photos that there is nothing near the sun or to the lower left-hand side of the sun. I've seen these types of photographs before. I've caught them on a webcam. Because we all know how reliable webcam photos are. Not... Now, ladies and gentlemen, you know, I have absolutely no concrete evidence whatsoever that this object is a brown dwarf. Counterpoint. No, actually, I, I agree with that one. Um, you have absolutely no concrete evidence that that is a brown dwarf. You're right. It highly resembles what scientists use in artist rendition photographs yeah well it also looks like it could be dust on the lens or moisture on the lens or grease or oil spot from your fingers lens flare uh, reflection a little speck of dirt stuck on your filter I mean it could be actually any number of things just maybe by chance that when I was snapping these photographs yesterday I was able to capture this object yeah, by chance. I'm sure that's it. Because it seems like every time you take your camera out, you, by chance, catch something. You must be the luckiest photographer ever. I've placed it through several different filters and tried to enhance the object as much as possible, but the original photographs... Oh, it looks like you've spongebobbed it again with your secret photo processing technique. I'm really not going to say too much about these photographs because the trolls are going to come out in droves over this. Their first reaction and comment will be, that is a lens flare. You not say too much about anything? Is that why you dedicated two regular shows plus a two and a half hour live stream to these photos? Because you're not going to say too much about them? And the trolls would be pretty close to correct. Because there's no way that that is a planet or a brown dwarf sitting next to the sun. They cannot produce a lens flare that looks like a striped planet. Clearly with a surface. Uh, yeah. I'd beg to differ. It's actually quite common. We are already seeing a major uptick in earthquake activity on this planet. And it is going to get worse. Dude, look at any statistics on earthquakes. They are not increasing. 
If the smaller ones are increasing, it's only due to better equipment, social media. Um, they're just not. Earthquakes are not increasing. Now, I reviewed these photographs with our doctor, the physicist, and we spent many hours throughout the middle of the night and early into this morning looking at the photographs, criticizing the photographs, and trying to make sure that what we are actually seeing is a brown dwarf. Do you mean the physicist that said, No astronomer in their right mind will go along with what I have said. And? <laughs> I mean, all I really want is to understand what's going on in the solar system. I want to understand physics. Or are we talking another physicist? This is not the brown dwarf star that she refers to because these are two totally different objects. And this object is massive. No kidding. It's not a brown dwarf star. It's not a brown dwarf. It's no kind of object at all. You do realize if you were using a proper filter, the glare of that sun would be gone and this object would actually look bigger than the sun, but yet it's not having any type of effect on the earth whatsoever. I mean, are people really this dumb to fall for this? And again, it was probably just coincidence. Maybe being in the right place at the right time, having the telescope and the camera pointed in that direction. And there you go again with being at the right place at the right time. Okay. And uh, the whole telescope thing, come on, dude, just hang it up. I don't know. I'm still a little set back by what I photographed yesterday. First of all, come on, let's stop calling it a telescope and a camera. If I had to guess, it's one of these telescopic lens things that you can clip onto your phone. Probably not even as high quality as the one in this photograph. More likely it's one from the Five Below store or the uh, Dollar store. And secondly, why the specifics between 6.30 and 7.30 p.m. on May 10th, blah, blah, are you mean... Are you trying to convince us of something? If there's something next to the sun, it's going to be there day in and day out, hour in, hour out. It's not going to move and just magically be there at one time. I guess enjoy the photographs, criticize them, look at them, talk about them, do whatever you want. But all I can say is between those hours, or that just that one hour, between 6.45 p.m. and 7.45 p.m. On May 10th, I pointed my telescope and camera system directly towards the sun using several different filters. This is what I captured. That's it. It's that plain and simple. It's not a lens flare. It's not a camera anomaly. It clearly resembles a brown dwarf. Okay, so you said you're open for anyone to criticize these. So let's take this first picture. It actually looks like all you've done is change the color setting after the effects. And then you went ahead and got in a little bit closer. And then you got in closer again for dramatic effect. But this is all the same picture. If you're truly changing filters and everything, um, the pictures would not be in the exact same place. I know for a fact that you've got to screw filters on and off. And especially if it's a telescope. That, yeah, you're going to have to realign it and everything, and these would not be the same pictures. So the effect is definitely added after the fact. Here we've got the same deal going on again, where you're just using the same pictures, enlarging it a little bit, and changing the uh, color. Um, in the uh, second one, the color is different. Uh, the third one, you put a little arrow showing this little supposed you know, brown dwarf or whatever collapsing into the sun. Then in this last one, you just really enlarge it quite a bit to kind of introduce the brown dwarf supposedly on the left-hand side of the sun that you're about to introduce with the next picture. Here's another example of using the same photo and doing all the effects afterwards. You can see the color differences, um, the lighting differences, maybe you adjusted the hue or possibly the uh, gamma of it, the exposure. It's just the same picture over and over. You can see the exact same little giveaways in each one. Ooh, and now they've been enlarged to bring out that scary brown dwarf. All done for effect. And here's how we can tell that all this was pulled off with about a mixture of three pictures, it looks like. In picture A, the first one, when he was showing us the anomaly on the right, 
he started to slowly introduce the brown dwarf on the left. And then if you uh, look at B, you can see that it's not in the same position at all. I mean, these arrows are all the exact same size. Uh, you go to C, you can also see that it's moved again. So I'm guessing A, B, and C are the three pictures. Um, B and D are the same picture. You can see the arrow is um, just about in the same exact spot in those pictures. They just drawn a circle around the sun to make it look like it's not circular, but... You know, with all the examples that I've shown, the sun, there's nothing wrong with the sun. It's perfectly round. It's just a big, giant, beautiful orb up in the sky. So you be the judge. Leave your comments. I'll definitely be interested in watching and listening to what you have to say. I can't leave comments because you've blocked me and the whole rest of the Factor Fiction team from commenting, as well as all the other members of Troll and every other truther out there. Nobody can comment on your videos. You may be interested in watching just so you can get new material for the next time you slander everybody that has anything bad to say about anything that you do. As I'm sure you won't address any of this stuff because you don't address anything in any of the videos that I put out ever. Except for to say, oh, they're just a bunch of trolls and they're lying and they're making threats and blah 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 blah. At least when we pointed out what was wrong with Chris Potter's video, he had enough balls to come out and admit that he made a mistake. I'd like to see the same out of you. Not once have you ever admitted that you've made a mistake for as many times as you've been proved wrong. Not once. And does your boy Potter realize that every time you make fun of people that are putting out slideshow presentations, you're actually making fun of him? Does your physicist realize that every time you have her on, you totally lead the discussion just like a good lawyer? I wish you'd actually just stick to reading the news, dude. Because you're actually halfway decent at that. What will continue to boggle my mind though is the amount of people that are actually falling for this garbage. That I will never understand.